the Sony PS5 reveal is happening in a few minutes, and... Really, I'm mostly here for the reveals. I don't want... I haven't bought much Sony, con much Sony consoles. Most of them are hand-me-downs. Um... And I don't even own a PS4 yet. So... Whatever. I I'm not much of a Sony person, if you can't tell. But I am interested in, well, two things, the console and the reveals that are alongside it, you know? That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for, so I'm, I just want to check those out. Um, do I have any expectations? Not really. I know what the console looks like. I'm hoping the console isn't, like, super expensive if I, or anything, because I know that because, like, okay, I'm not going to buy the console day one in general. I don't have room for a PS4 to begin with. Or, P really, a new PlayStation console to begin with. Because I constantly move. And I don't really stay in one place anymore. For college. But I do want to... But I've been meaning to buy one for a while now. Um, and if I'm tired, if I sound tired, it's because it's only like 6 a.m. right now. I'm not, I'm trying not to speak too loud. This is usually around the time my grandpa wakes up, though. I'm just hoping not to get interrupted too much. Anyways, um, if I do get interrupted, I will just cancel the, re the reaction altogether. Okay, so let's see. So yeah, I don't have any expectations per se. Like, I know what the console looks like. I'm hoping the price isn't too expensive. Not not really for me, because I don't want to buy a new console. Since I don't have a concrete place to live, I guess, for now. And if I were, I would just buy a PS4 for now. And then wait a few years until PS5. But I do know that people want to buy a PS5, like, soon. So I'm just hoping, like, you know, they're, they're able to buy their reasonable, I mean, reasonable price. Because I know my, my cousin and my, my friend, a few friends, would probably just want to wanna buy the console. I'm also hoping that it's backwards compatible with a lot of like PlayStation con previous PlayStation consoles as well. I understand not doing it for the PS3 because of how bizarre the hardware is. But, you know, backwards compatibility is nice. I don't know if it's confirmed or I don't know if, if there's any statement in the that confirms that there is backwards backwards compatibility, but you know, if there is, that'd be pretty neat. What else? I don't know what else. <laughs> I feel like the PlayStation 4, uh, store is... Well, I mean, it's not perfect, but... It's fine. So I don't know how I don't know how they improve it. I haven't used it much in general. Besides the one on PS3, which run, runs like ass. So... The only thing I can think of is improving price, but even then, I get $60 for a reason. Free games and all that. It's better than Nintendo's, at least. But, you know, $60 is pricey. It's not a
fuck. So my school is coming back during the fall semester. Or pretty much pretty much confirmed that my that I'm going to come, come back in the fall semester. The campus. I'm like, I have mixed feelings. I'm glad, sort of. Because I could focus better, but at the same time. I could have saved a lot of money staying here at home. This is random, I know, but yeah. Anyways, back to PS5 stuff. Like, uh, design-wise, I think the console looks fine, or the controller looks all right. I don't like the coloring of the white controller. It's, it, it, I feel it's too awkward for me to really enjoy. Because like, uh, the sticks are black. The weird bottom part is black. The triggers are black. I don't know why. And the buttons are black, I think. I don't know why it's like that. I feel like it's colored weirdly. That's why I like the all-black coloring instead. Oh, shoot. Okay, it's starting now. I'm hoping they reveal some cool games. Nothing, like, too overbloated like those action-adventure games you see all the time. <coughs> I apologize if my allergies are acting up. I don't know. I just woke up like this. I only have like three hours of sleep anyway. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Oh, that's sexy, beautiful PlayStation opening. PlayStation 1 opening. How we might have ended up. No. I like the hand we've been dealt. Okay, PS4. He has four games. Like these are games that are released that are already released. Right? Together, we were destined for something <clears throat> great. Yeah. Okay. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Or the... Ah, yes, for That thing. That magic. Oh, Grand Theft Auto 5. I thought we were trying to get out of this bullshit. Sounding more and more like a snee eye itch every day. My job, <coughs> my score, get your own. So, what's this? I mean, it's like GTA 5 is nothing new. So, it's either some new expansion or something, or is it just another, like, it's just a retrain, it's another trailer for some reason. We all love banks. I haven't played GTA 5, so I don't, I don't know anything. Get me a DJ. Give me a hand with these bodies. This cannot be traced back to me. Champagne, anyone? Just sort of smash things. I was going to go into whacking this online. I don't know. Okay. Oh, it's re released. Like the enhanced port? I guess. 
to the PS5. Okay, that's the PS5 controller that's all black. Free at launch. Okay, well, alright. <laughs> PS PS Plus is required to play. Required. One million GTA Cash Month until GTA 5 arrives. Pretty cool. <clears throat> what is this now? Okay, that's just the PlayStation letters. Oh, of course it is. So yeah, GTA 5 enhanced for the PS5. Wow. And then GTA Online. It was great to oh, kick okay. today off with a look back at just some of the way. seminal moments of the last 25 years. <laughs> I what feel like it was kind of to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console, Grand Theft Auto. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. And we're thrilled to open today with the news that that partnership will continue with PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. Mm -hmm. But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years. When we get to show you just some of the games that demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. The content we've curated for today's event showcases how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative in how they look, sound, and feel. Enough uh -huh. from me. We're going to have the games do our talking. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> okay, um, PS5 systems. All game footage. Okay, that's cool. So, it's sort of a reveal. A hero is just someone who doesn't give up. <clears throat> Your dad said that. This spider Spider-Man? That Spider-Man? That's Miles. Now it's Miles. Your turn. Go be a hero, Miles. Holy shit. Okay. Let's do this. Is this Spider-Man? Is this Spider-Man too? It has Miles in it? That's pretty sick. I heard Spider-Man was already great for PS4. On it, on, on that. And this is the PS5. Right. From what I can tell, these are mostly cinematic at this point. Okay, Spider Man, Miles Morales. Capture on PS5. Holiday 20, 2020. Okay. Is that when the PS5 releases? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay, so Spider-Man, Miles Morales. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that is pretty sick. Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. Yeah, I wish I had a PS4 to play just Just play, just play. Um hmm, Spider-Man. Oh yeah, I'm not thinking right now it's Gran Turismo, right? Alright, whatever. <laughs> Gran Turismo 7. I don't know anything about it. Or I don't know.
So, uh... <laughs> Spider-Man. I don't know. I don't... Okay, so, like, this is how the PS5 looks. Gameplay-wise. It's Gran Turismo. I don't know... I don't know anything about, the, about Gran Turismo. Nor do I know any graphical comparisons. I do think the game looks great. From what I can tell. So let's talk about Spider-Man instead. Uh... I haven't... I don't own a PS4, so I haven't played Spider-Man on the PS4, but I'd love to. Man. That's why I wanted to own a PS4 in the first place, to play Spider-Man, just a few PlayStation 4 exclusives. But I can't because I don't have a concrete place to stay at the moment. Because of college. I go to college overseas. Oh, I say overseas. I know it's in the US. <laughs> it's still in the US, but whatever. It's far from home, that's for sure. And now there's Spider-Man Miles Morales? That's pretty sick! I love Spider-Verse. And I loved how Miles, Miles is portrayed there. So I trust how they'll portray Miles in the games, because I hear their portrayal of Peter Parker was fantastic. The original, I mean, his first Spider-Man PS4 game. Oh, it's Ratchet and Clank. You all right back there? No way. <clears throat> It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... <coughs> get to... Right. The ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sight. Oh, is this Ratchet and Clank? This is a remake of Ratchet and Clank 2? Or is it just Ratchet and Clank reported? I mean, it looks great. I don't know. It's... Whenever I see PS, the PS5, I think, okay, wow, that looks great. But that's just because I feel like the dimensions are we're, he, we're just reaching higher points of graphical. I guess. <laughs> it's expected at this point. Well, it is certainly not good. Great. Yeah. I want. I want to play Crash. I, I own the games, but only on PS3. I'll probably play it eventually. But, um, I've always been interested. I've been interested in three platformers. I don't play them as often, but... I, he I hear the Ratchet and Clank games. Oh, shit. There goes Clank! Ratchet. We are too late. What? Ratchet? Who's that? Rift Apart. So it's a new Ratchet and Clank thing. Ratchet and Clank game, isn't it? I don't think I recognize. Or I guess I don't know much about Hi, I'm Marcus Smith, anyway, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire Insomniac. studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Brand new, it's a brand new okay, interdimensional adventure that's built from the cool. ground up for the PlayStation 5. We're doing things we've never been able to do before, like use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly uh -huh. instantly, or <coughs> ray trace reflections on Clank. All of our alien oh, worlds are sick, filled actually. with density and life previously unseen. Plus, Ratchet's all new arsenal is more exciting than ever thanks to the dual sense controller's enhanced feedback. Mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank are near and dear to our hearts at Insomniac, and we can't wait to share more with you in the future. But for now, here's another look. The Spider-Man, Spider-Man Miles Morales, and Ratchet and Clank rips apart. I think those are like some good highlights. The Star Wars, whatever. Because GTA Five is GTA Five. Like, okay, cool, whatever. It's being ported, what a surprise. And there's Jan Grand Turismo, which is alright. But uh, and I'm not into racing games. Not my thing. From above. But I think Ratchet and Clank. It looks good. It looks good. I think I like that one. Uh, I like the graphics. I like the fact that the internet stopped working. <laughs> the internet stopped. I get it. Um, I like Spider-Man, and I really want to play Spider-Man, but I don't want to be a store, nor do I want to borrow someone else's PS4 to play it. 
It doesn't. Uh, borrowing it just doesn't sit right. Get used to that. Hey, break reality. Yeah, there's just a lot happening on screen. Just I can tell. That's doing fine. It looks good. I think it looks really good. It's kind of hard to say, oh. I don't know what to say, really. Like, yeah. Oh, like, okay. Pre alpha footage from the PlayStation 5 itself. I think it looks great. I think graphically it looks great. And then, you know, new Ratchet and Clank with an interesting premise that allows for like new, like new levels and opportunities and all that. And then, you know, I'm all for it. I like, I'm interested. I'll, I'll, I should play Ratchet and Clank though. <laughs> I feel like I should play Ratchet and Clank first. Spider Man as well, because. Swear, 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 Enix, square, Enix. Luminous directions. I can't. If I'm slurring my words too much, and I apologize. I'm tired. <laughs> what is this? <coughs> Okay. Alright. Is that, is that is that no those, those are plans. Oh I guess Project uh, Athia? Athia? Athia. Athia. Designed exclusively for PlayStation 5. It's not we didn't see much, but she did like a plant thing. A she did a thing with the plants, like you know, grab. Is that a robot? It's a black cat. And then we'll... No escape. Wait, did it just say rip humans? And then no escape. So what, are humans like dead? And robots have taken over, or like pretty much, and then their society just mimics that of humans. And then we have a cat. Why are we following that cat? It's a cat. It's a cute cat. I like that cat. It's already a 10 out of 10 game. Stray? <coughs> Do we play as the cat? I'm hearing purring. Ten game already. Ten out of ten game. <coughs> 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. 
ultra high speed SD SD ray tracing I don't know what that is <laughs> I don't know what that is <sighs> controller haptic feedback I, I don't see I don't like the black part of the controller the white controller it just looks awkward oh adaptive triggers okay it's USB-C and motion sensors built-in microphone integrated speaker 3d audio I don't know what that means <clears throat> I don't know what that means. I do not know what that means <clears throat> I'm hoping there's the black controller I do not like the white design Making games used to be about these constant trade-offs between the artistic vision and technical limitations. With PS5, we're not going to be burdened like that. We're going to be able to realize our artistic vision <coughs> a lot better. It's got a ton of horsepower, which is very easy to unlock, and it's a, cool. a machine that's really easy to develop on. The PS5 will present a paradigm shift as to what players will come to expect from gaming. will let us tell stories, make worlds, Great gameplay that I think will truly captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Worldwide Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. Uh huh. That's sick. So, yeah, the PlayStation 5 gas allows for more creative endeavors because of the higher processing po power of the console. Wow. That's cool, though. Yeah. As long as creators can do what they want. Over and over. Is that space? I relive my first moments <clears throat> on this alien <clears throat> planet. Okay. Sorry. A crash. It hurts. My death. <clears throat> what? The crash. The attack. Are these like dreams? I assume they are. Even death is no escape. Huh? Or I guess not. <laughs> Each time I awake, this planet seems somehow different. As if changing. This world is becoming part of me. <clears throat> infecting my mind. The longer I spend here, the more I can feel my sanity slip away. A world that affects you mentally. Hope. And that constantly <clears throat> My only choice is to keep fighting. Yeah, of course. Can't have a high quality to play without BPQ. I like the premise. I like the premise the hope is to break the cycle. <clears throat> I like the premise. Before the cycle mm -hmm. breaks me. <clears throat> Returnal. That word. <clears throat> hmm. Whatever. Okay. So premise is Gerd that oh, an astronaut, right? That's on the planet. She, what, does she keep dying? Does she keep dying or does she it's just, just like hallucinations? I guess we'll find out later on. Sumo digital. Who's that? Is that a costume? It's probably not a costume. That tail is moving. <clears throat> the toy. It's Little Big Planet. It's Little Big Planet. That's that's sick. Sack Boy of Big Adventure. Sack Boy Return. I think I don't know if they ever left that Or like ever one on the game. The 3D platformer. I don't know much about Little Big Planet. <clears throat> I remember it being 2D though.
Yeah. Then multiplayer in the three space. I want to play the little big clan series. You're gonna be hearing me say that a lot. <laughs> if you're watching the entire video, you're gonna hear me say that a lot. I want to play X series. But yeah, like little big clan, I've heard good things about. I just haven't had a reason to play. It. And now that I've seen this, I don't really have a reason to play it. So. Oh yeah. Not now, anyway. Maybe, like, eventually, then I'm Nice. Sack Boy of Big Adventure. Is there no little big planet monic name, name, moniker, whatever? <coughs> this is another racing game. This is Fox. This is Fox. These are glasses. Okay, it's a racing game. And you crash cars into each other. It's a racing game, but raw. I think. I don't know if racing is in front of it, but you can leave your cars and you probably get fucked up. I assume those are like tricks or something. I mean, hey, that's cool. Then you can like go on the car and go Haha. I'm on your car, stupid. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Not necessarily a race, more like a demolition derby. That's it. Destruction All Stars. Yeah, demolition derby, but on steroids. Are those shapes? It's wild. Hello, everyone. My name is Josh Greer, and this is my brother Mike. We're from Ember Lab, a small team with a background in film and animation. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. Okay. So please enjoy. I hope it's something. Are those children? <clears throat> Look at that thing. Ember I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet you do not fully understand it. A child, right? Okay. Driven by the belief that you can <coughs> help these troubled spirits. Only seen cinematics. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. You have no power here. The fuck? Okay, there's the gameplay. Platforming. Real weird things. <clears throat> I like the environment. 
I like the environment. I like the art style too. Actually. Like when it starts that art style, I prefer my game to be a shaded look. For cutesy. I guess for more. I don't know. Like I'm more of a cel shaded guy, but I think this look looks good. This looks good. I think I like it. I like the detail in the background. I think the gameplay looks pretty neat. Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. The gameplay looks alright. <clears throat> we didn't see much. We saw like a bit of a fighting and a platform. We saw her we saw her jump. <clears throat> Shapes. Yeah, that's just, that looks not bad. It looks alright. Looks pretty good. We shit and animated. You ever feel like you're just waiting Are those for anchovies? Side? To do that thing you've always meant to do. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. But something's holding me back. Maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's the fear that I'll never be as good as what I imagine when I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose, okay, no might as well jump. Are these dinosaurs? Five volcano high. Co op. I thought this was K pop. I was scared for a second. Goodbye, volcano high. So, is it like a visual novel? It like, talks about how, um,. Fear of expectation, or like fear of uh, what's it? Just going out there in the open, not knowing what you want to do, stuff like that. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, and I'm here Odd to share world. with you a game that I've been dying to make. It's an emotionally engaging <clears throat> story where rescuing is rewarding, failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. Take a look. They believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. You may have escaped the murderous blades, but the fate of your entire people is up to you. <clears throat> I know about Abe. I know Odds World. The main character is Abe. Where's Abe? <clears throat> Jesus Christ. This raid sounds like I have a cold. It's terrible. あの、ま、ちばらオズワールド。I need to see this. 
I want to see this. I've heard of... Was this an ETH? Yeah. yeah. We showed an E3 last year. You see things others can't. I remember it. It was like one of the only things in Bethesda that actually stood in E3's in E3's Bethesda conference. Yeah. Threats, others in the, don't. In Bethesda's E3 conference that actually stood out. <clears throat> Fight when others won't. I had to search that up because I kind of forgot. It's been a while. It's been a year to be It's more up to precise. you to save Tokyo. Take that. Hmm. Now that's not really what I expected when it comes to direction. I don't know. I like that. I like the hand. <clears throat> yeah, no. <clears throat> I gotta say, you know, if it's gonna be a first person shooter. I'd say they made it an interesting one. I like the hands. <laughs> Coming 2021. Bethesda. Ghost Ghostwire. That's pretty sick. Carve out a future for people haunted by oblivion. I didn't read the text there. Year zero. So is, it, is this just exploring a world with like different shit? Jet. Farm shore. Because I mean that's what I got from it. We're exploring a world with a fucking shitty environment. <laughs> I'm like, you know, we have to do something about it, I guess. So. It's just Earth. It's just Earth, but like in like ten years from now. <laughs> just that. Is it gears? No way. I, I only. I think I read gears, but I don't know why. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I'm just stupid. This is all the same to me. All I see is Rap music. 
Vanquished Worthy. Why did I get those two? Where did I get that one? It's definitely not you. Obviously not. It makes no sense. Where did I get that one? Maybe I just like saw the armor and got along. Fucking, I'm stupid. I should sleep more. Godfall, is that what it's called? What is it? It's available. Oh, that's why I thought it was Gearbox. It's published by Gearbox. That's why we saw. I don't know. If, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Like I don't know anything about Gearbox. I I just probably just read the word gear and thought, okay, well, I'm gears. <laughs> Oh, I like this one. It's pretty. Gearbox isn't even involved with gear, it's really to tell. Maybe I'm just stupid. I am probably just stupid. They made borderlines, for fuck's sake. Okay, back to this. <laughs> I just embarrassed on myself, myself on, on reaction. Yeah, this looks cool. I like this. I feel like the minimalist design for environments has been a bit overused. Maybe it's just me. Like, you know, flat colors and all that. I think I like this. I like the looks of this one. Oh boy, upside down. Solar Ash. Ever heard of that before? There's, I've probably heard of something similar to name, but unrelated. But I like the way the game looks. We didn't see much gameplay, I think. Or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I'll probably rewatch. I'll probably bet rewatch it later. Hitman! You can tell by the suit. It's Hitman. It was always gonna end like this. Just, just see, just see how wrong hard I work. Am. Just see how wrong I am. I just, I just saw the suit and all the Only poses, and I thought, okay, uh, if I'm wrong, then you know I'm gonna be very embarrassed for myself. I probably am wrong. <laughs> I probably am wrong. I'm also like, it's not hitting at all. It's something else. And now you find yourself alone. No, no, no. No, I'm right. I'm right. Hitman 3. Pretty sick. I don't know anything about Hitman, but it's cool. Okay, I was right. I was right. That's rare. I'm never right. <laughs> that was only a cinematic, so Hacker never really here from Ion Tractive. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract intimate. in his entire career. Ooh. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the Wall of Assassination trilogy. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where Agent 47 is on top of the world in Dubai. Enjoy. Dubai. Oh, okay, now we're seeing. What was the previous game called? Yeah, I forgot. The one before, the other Solar Ash. Because I thought that looked good. I like the art style for that one. As oversaturated as it is, as maybe, I think. But, you know, 
We didn't. That's not much gameplay, now is it? I was like, I, I was like, I wasn't paying attention. I blinked, and now I lost. I didn't see anything. Unless that's not the gameplay, and that was just like something else. Nope. Now we're just in the UI. <laughs> we're just in the UI for the PS Five. Oh hey, it's that one VR. I think it's VR. I think it was a VR game. It's called I. No, I don't know. What it's called, but it was like something. I just remember it being a VR game. Unless I'm mistaken and I'm stupid again. I was wait for it. Astro's Playroom. I've heard of Astro, I think. Yeah, I've heard of Astro before. It's on PS4, right? So yeah. I don't know if it was VR. <laughs> Maybe I, I'm just mistaking it with something else as well, but it was on PS4, I remember that much. I still can't get over Spider-Man Miles Morales. I love I love Spider-Verse. I, I want to see that portrayal of Miles. Because the comic book version wasn't that great. <laughs> and the, the way they did it in Spider-Verse was amazing. What's this? And I'm just hoping that the game does Miles justice more than the comic. <laughs> more than the comic. Because I know that each... Interpre interpretation is different. Like, Peter Parker in the game is different from Peter Parker in, uh, like, the Raimi film. Raimi film. Oh, I don't know why I said Raimi. Like, Raimi film, or the comic books. Duh, of course. <clears throat> so what's this? It's a blocky... They remind me of toys. So is it like his butler? Nice. <laughs> so that guy does dangerous shit. The other guy, the, the butler guy, just sleeps. Thanks. I, I we need to see that. <clears throat> I mean, it looks cute. They remind me of toys. Like, blocky toys. Not really like those toys. What the fuck? <laughs> Little devil inside. Not oh, cute. What's up, everyone? I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for the NBA hey. 2K21. Oh. Y'all are not ready for this. I am quite ready, actually. And unenthused. <laughs> NBA 2K21. Holy shit. Trying to bring you down, but for real, you might as well give up now. Think you got a chance, but I don't see how. Got a real tight grip when I hold that crown. I'm the first one in and the last one out. Whoever owns the place gotta drag me out. <clears throat> I don't mean to say when I stray. You better just run for your life. These look like some matter. I don't know. Maybe it, it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't, and I was just playing. My eyes were just playing with me. For your life. I don't know. Or it's like a tech demo. Fall 2020. It, what? Fall? Fall 2020. I mean, I guess it's released in other consoles like PS4, PS, PS4, Xbox uh, One. Hmm. 
What's this? That's a strawberry. And it moved. Holy shit. Am I supposed to eat that? I don't think anyone wants to eat that. Half bug, half snack. Huh? A very recently discovered species, entirely unique to this island. Oh, this one's lively. Beautiful seed patterns. What the fuck? <laughs> no! Tasty too. Welcome to the island of bug snacks. Ah! That sounds disgusting. I would not eat bugs. No matter how snacky they are. <laughs> well, let me ask you. Wait, who do you play as? Someone on Twitter just mentioned four. Bugs? No. Do you play as the bugs or do you play as the people eating the bugs? Invitation is open. Come join me on the island <clears throat> of Bugsnacks. I don't think I want mine. Liz, I, um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, <clears throat> again? Yeah, I don't know if I want to eat those. I don't want my hands turning into that. <laughs> so wait, I assume you get the properties of whatever you eat. Fuck. What, what was that? <laughs> what was that? The time that are they fighting back? They're fighting back. And people are saying island of butt sex. This is. <laughs> Those are they they were fighting back. They're gonna fight back at me. Holy shit. They're gonna rebel. It's a revolution against those that eat the bug snacks. I don't know. Hi everyone. Know Thank you for being with us today for this very special event. But before we get to the end of the show, I have something very near and dear to me. Let's talk about it, Yoshida. Let's see. How near and dear is it to you? How near and dear is it? Yoshida-san. Mr. Yoshida. Hmm? Looks pretty far. It's pretty cold. I don't know if it's in-game graphics or cinematic. A new IP. Is this a new IP? Or is this. <coughs> is this an old IP that's been, like, removed? That's what I want to know. Because, like, he said near and dear to, to his heart. So, like, okay. Either it's a new baby, just make, he's just making right now. Demon Souls. Okay, we I know about that. I've heard of it. Is it a sequel? <clears throat> Is it a sequel? Is it a remake? Japan Studio. I've heard of Demon Souls. This I think. Is a next gen first person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. This is our unique vision. What Arkane is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay. A surreal player-driven story smashed together. Okay, PS3. Want to see some stylish action? 
Check this out. Demon Souls was for the PS3, and now it's being remade. I guess. Okay, that's cool. I I, I assume it's a remake. Oh, calm down there. So about assassins fighting. I'm making this easy. Candy bar. Holy shit, those are just guys. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, never mind. Their corpse don't say. What is this? Damn. We start. <coughs> Bethesda. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time death. loops fun. Time loop. Oh boy, Groundhog Day. For everyone else on this island. This place is paradise. A never ending party. Where hunting me is the main attraction. Oh. That's no that's not how I try to escape. They always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Respect. <laughs> Alright. I mean, hey, it's Every cool loop I'm learning a little more, <clears throat> piecing together the puzzle. And that makes sense why he keeps coming back when he dies. They all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector, and a real uh -huh. pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times. But eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. Death loop. I like the premise. I've always liked the premise of time loops. Um, yeah, I just think the premise of time loops are interesting. And how it like, just affects people. You know, and people are going to get fucking sick of some people are going to go insane from it. People are gonna revel in the fact that they can't die. Hmm. Hmm. Definitely. I don't like watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. Okay, well. Alright then. Pretty rude. But that implies that you can play as what's her face. I don't know her name. I forgot her name. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so I know she was the protector of Black Reef. So you can play as her and kill that guy. Story comes to a close. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to the fairies of her father. It was hard. greeted them with a dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke Ow. free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest beyond. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You really into that stuff? Quit being so fair. Oh my god! I know it's it. They're dropping a game about hunting a black guy. Oh my god. EE -E just mentioned that on Twitter. Who sent you? So weird. They're coming. Who is? 
So what is this? Because I wasn't paying attention much, but I do know they did not do a title drop. Nor do I recognize anything from it. So, I don't know, it could be a series I don't, I'm not too familiar with. Up with that guy. Village. It's not okay. It's not much. Resident Evil Eight. That's Resident Evil. Whoa. Okay. I did not expect Sorry. that. Oh wow! What an asshole. Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> the fuck, Chris? Why? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting Resident Evil 8. That's pretty cool. And Chris just killed. <laughs> Chris Stone is on the <clears throat> What is this? Diana's? I don't know why I focus on that. That brand specifically. There were children there. Who's that? It's a robot. I don't know. It's a hologram. Robot. It's a, it's a type of cat. What is this? Oh, the simulation's broken. Oops. <clears throat> I don't get it. I don't know. <laughs> that satellite just came crashing. Huh? What? What is... Okay. Is that girl a weapon? Is she a weapon? Is she a robot? Pragma, pragmata, pragmata, mata. She's a robot. Freedom, our freedom. She's a robot. That's cool. She's a robot. She's a cool. She's a robot. Twenty twenty two Capcom. So two Capcom games so far. That one didn't even have a name drop. Or did it? I don't even know. I wasn't paying attention. <clears throat> Something. <clears throat> I'm surprised that it's still going. It's been an hour, right? I remember the, they say in the press conference only lasts an hour. But I ain't complaining. I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm enjoying this. The old ones. Like I, I'm kind of half a pain. I'm Perished sometimes not paying attention, but I'm enjoying this. 
Their great cities turned to graves. In their place, is that a fish? Came new life. Oh, the fox. The fuck. Or will get worse and worse. What is that? That turtle. I was expecting like something that's fucked up. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. No depths I won't explore. <clears throat> no secret I won't unlock. Kanji. It's a dragon. No barrier I won't cross. This mission is mine alone. No one is this Earth. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. Yeah. Okay, so it's a secret, I think. It's a horizon. But whatever comes. I forgot what it's called. It's just horizon. Um, <laughs> I will be ready. Gorilla. On behalf of the entire team at Gorilla, we're happy to share the first look at Horizon Forbidden West. We're continuing Erga's story as she moves west to her far future America. To brave a beautiful but dangerous frontier masked with mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. And take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world of Horizon. Stay tuned for much more. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. Sick. That's cool. That's cool. I have not played Horizon, or I do not know much about Horizon at all, but that's cool. I think there's a lot to look forward to for the community. I think fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer and hey, storyteller, Cap this is incredibly Great. exciting. We're talking a whole new generation of ideas and experiences that we can create for the player. Ah. No matter where they are, no matter who they are. Gearbox. New experiences like we've never had before. More iconic, interesting characters. More atmospheric, immersive worlds for players to explore. We want to wow players. Expect the unexpected. And I, for one, can't wait. We can't wait. We can't wait to share them with you. It's so exciting. Incredibly exciting. It's really about <laughs> That's a lot of people. Amazing feeling. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Good value experiencing. A bit better. Oh well, yeah, okay. PS5. Pretty sick. What does it look what's the console look like? I don't know what it looks like. <clears throat> I assume the picture's online, or I sort of know what it looks like. I don't, I don't remember off the top of my head what it looks like. I only remember the controller. Which I don't I don't like the white controller. <laughs> Was this a tech demo? 
shows off the capabilities of the PS5. This is just a cinematic. That just shows the logo for the PS5. If it's a tech demo, I'd be more impressed. <laughs> but I don't know. Probably, probably not. Yeah, my hopes up too high. Too low, I don't know. So that's what it looks like? I guess I can see why it looks like that. <clears throat> so is this supposed to be standing upright? I prefer laying flat myself. Let's see, full USB port. That's wild. PS5. I will admit that I like the PS5's look. The console itself. I do like it. I'm just a bit concerned about it being stood upright, if anything. Because, you know, like, okay. You, I'd prefer laying it down flat, if anything. The controller's <laughs> The controller. I don't know, the shape's alright. It's kind of weird to me. I don't like the color. That's it. Holy shit. Digital edition. Okay, so this one has a CD. Oh, oh Blu-ray. Display. Whatever. Physical. Display. Dual sense while wireless controller. Charging station. Cam. HD camera. Full studio. That's it. Medium mode. Do these all come with, uh, with the PS5? I assume not. Obviously not. <laughs> That's asking for too much. Okay, but yeah, there's a digital one. We hope one. you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. You've seen our most striking console design yet, and you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5's features and power. I think the design is fine. I guess. At PlayStation, we believe in generational transitions, Mine. and we put years. I think of it's work better than that weird mock-up we that I saw. We want you online. to enjoy the unique benefits. Of moving from one generation to the next. Thank you for joining us. We're launching later this year and we have tons more. To oh, show. it is launching later this Welcome year. Welcome to PlayStation 5. <clears throat> How much is it? I assume the digital editions obviously obviously gonna cost less. I'm curious how much it is. I wanna know. Miles, Miles, baby. <clears throat> I love the planet. But whatever comes, I will be ready. I think the PS5 looks fine. The console looks fine. Still don't think the controller looks fine. I'm just reiterating that. Just to keep myself remembering my opinion. Because I'm stupid. Because <clears throat> I'm, I'm all, I also scrolled through Twitter simultaneously. The design for the PS5 is. Um, I like it. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Ratchet and Clank, Little Big Planet, or I guess Sackboy's big adventure in this case. A few others. <laughs> How much is it? Please tell me. 
Please say the price. Please say the price. What the fuck's the price? What the fuck? Where's the price? Did they not say the price? Did they not say the price? Is there no... What the fuck is it? Oh, you get to see the decrease. Hey, Twitch channel bonus. What does that unlock? We don't get anything. It's a fucking... Thing. What the fuck's the price? <laughs> Did I miss something? So, also, I don't know what ray, ray tracing is. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, it's just an emotes only chat, so it's amazing. The fuck? It's so. Did they not. Did they not mention the price? What's the price? Hold on. Let me search it up. I'm just gonna close that. Um. There are predictions. But there are no price. There's no price. Did I miss the price? I feel like I missed the price. Because I don't know if they actually... I don't know if they actually... <laughs> I don't know if they actually set the price. But yeah, Demon Souls is coming to the PS5. Demon Souls is coming to the PS5. It's being remade. So it's pretty sick. I I like I think Chris looks pretty cool too. Or not Chris, like just Resident Evil in general. <clears throat> um, let's see. Did they, did they not say the price? Okay, well, let's see. I'm going to recap what I think. Uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Miles. Morales. Ratchet and Clank. Lit, um, what was it called? Sack. The Boys. Big Adventure. I believe that's what it's called. These are the ones that stuck stuck out to me. Um, Solar Ash. What was, it, what was the other one called? <laughs> it's like if you want Resident Evil, Eight. Um, Ghostwire. I can't spell. I can't spell Ghostwire for some reason. And then um. <laughs> Like, I'm just typing it down on Twitter, just because. I think these are the games that stuck out to me the most. That Bug Snack one definitely stuck out for the wrong reasons. <laughs> that stuck out. <laughs> so I'm not, not going to mention that, but <laughs> it stuck out. Demon Souls. So like Demon Souls is only for the PS3. I did not know that actually. So I just found out now. So that's pretty cool. The 
Zod world. I'm not that interested. Hitman 3 did stuck stick out to me. Oh, Deathloop. I like Deathloop. I like the concept of Deathloop. Presentation was good. I think I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. I like the I'm not much of a Sony person, but like I'm not much of a Sony person in general. Or like how do I describe it? I don't own... I don't actively own Sony consoles. Nor do I follow their games that, all, that much. Because I don't, own their con I don't own their consoles, so I don't know their ex exclusives that well. And really, I don't really know much about third-party... Usual third parties. Like, uh... Like, you know, Hitman. I don't... I, I know about Hitman. I haven't played it. Man. But yeah, that's pretty sick. I liked it. I liked it. But, let's see. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm just seeing a lot of people on Twitter like not liking the design for the the console. Not liking the design of the console. I I thought it, like I don't know. I think it's okay. I think it'd be better if like there were an option for just having one solid color instead because a uh, no no I don't I don't enjoy. It. I assume there's gonna be one solid color for the, because you know there's a there's one there's solid black for the controller, and I think that looks way better than the stupid double color, the black and white design. <laughs> so I'm hoping maybe <clears throat> the design of the console looks better with one color. Looks like a sandwich, kind of. <clears throat> looks like it's, it's it's weird. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to feel about it. Did they mention the price for the PS5? I don't know. I don't know if they mentioned it because <clears throat> no price or release date. What the fuck? No price or release date. There was no price or release date. There was no price shown. Like I wasn't the only one that I didn't just I didn't blink. I did not blink and miss it. I would have noticed. I would have noticed that there were there was a there was a price. I look at price first. I'm greedy. I'm greedy as shit. <laughs> oh whatever, whatever I guess. Yeah, a lot of people are comparing the PS5 to a router. Actually, I think that's funny. I'm just hoping you can lay it down flat, the PS5. I know you can. I want to see how it looks more when you lay it down flat. Because I, I prefer having it laying down laying down flat. But yeah, anyways. And a lot of people are like, right. You know? One thing that I noticed is, uh, oh, right, Stray. Stray also stuck out to me. Just because the cat. The cat. I like the cat. But, um... Like the design reminds people of a router, and I agree, <laughs> it looks like a router. Alongside that, it also reminds them of uh those really like like those two thousand uh two thousand Xbox seven twenty like the those these weird like early 2000s console leaks reminds people of, reminds people of that i think okay none of these but like it's somewhere it's somewhere here <laughs> uh, like what ps4 
Like that. This was back when they called it the Xbox 720 or some shit. It reminds people of something bad or some shit. I don't know. It looks like something out of a leak from those. Maybe. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just hoping, uh. Hoping. Hoping things work out. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's my search history. <laughs> that's my search history. Yeah, the games trusted. I, don't, I did not trust. PS5. But yeah, let's look at the console more. I guess they don't have screenshots of the, screenshots of the console itself. Whatever. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to risk searching shit. Okay, then. Well, yeah, they're like, this conference did have a lot of games that stuck out, so I thought that was cool. I am, I won't say that I'm hyped, because, no, nah, I feel like it's not the proper term for it, but I am looking forward to these games. I'm looking forward to these games coming out at least, seeing how they go, so you know, whatever, yeah. I am really hoping they release the price and release date for the PS5 soon. Because I'm really annoyed by the fact that they don't do They did not show the price. Why didn't they show the price? That makes no sense. It's like a good time. It's coming out in late 2020. It makes sense to release the price. Whatever. Not even a release date. Not even a release date. Not at all. It's so weird. It's so ridiculous. Let's... Who's live right now? Sky Bennett. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. That being said, I'll just leave it at that. Um It was a good it was a good reveal, I think. I thought it was a good reveal. 